Hello everybody and a very warm welcome back to Tony North Eastern and I hope you're all keeping safe and well and um, I'm sure we left these walls standing in the last video that Billy Two Thumbs is not a very good builder didn't tie the walls in and now they've all fallen down I guess we're gonna have to go over to the bench and put them all together again so before we make a start on this week's uh, assembly um, there's a couple of things um, I need to do before I can start putting these walls together and the first thing I want to do is to scrape back this piece of plastic strip and put in a quarter round in there um, because uh, I'm, I'm not happy with it it just doesn't look right so I'm just going to scrape back the paint and the plastic strip uh, without damaging the rest of the fascia. So if I can take that back and stick another piece in there uh, I think that will look a lot better. Um, but we shall see. It's, I think it's just me being a little bit overzealous um, with the detail um, if you're not happy with it if you can do something about it then then do it um, and that's what I've decided to do as long as I don't damage any other detail I think that will be okay So as you can see I've stuck a, a piece of one mil round rod along the fascia there just below the lower cornice just to add that little more detail because I wasn't happy with the, the flat piece that was in there and, uh, and that looks uh, a lot better so when that dries I'll be able to paint it uh, the 196 and uh, score the lines back in to represent the stone that's along that edge because I seem to have um, scraped some of the lines out but uh, I think I'm a lot happier with that now right so with that being done we can now focus on glazing these two main walls and um, look at the internal walls that are going as you can see I've pre-marked it where the uh, dividing walls for the rooms are going to go and I've got to put a one mil line along that bottom edge for the floor to fit into uh, the building from the base as it were uh, so plenty to be getting on with seems like we've been down this road many times before when we come to do glazing um, it is quite straightforward um, you make up a, a glass template for the shape of the window and then you just drop it in hopefully it will fit and then we just use the glue and glaze with a toothpick and just put it around the edges um, to seal the window in you put a little bit in each corner first and then just work your way around and uh, once that goes off, they're pretty firmly stuck in there. Just sealing all the edges, that's all you're doing. Uh, 
And it's easy as that. I think I forgot to mention that, um, that the toothpick you've got to have a really fine point on it um, so you can get the glue right into any gaps. Between the glazing and the walls. So that's the two main walls done, so I thought I'd have a look at fitting the glaze into this ticket office. Um, there's nothing really holding the glazing in except for the glue and glaze glue. And I'm using it like putty so that the, the glazing is pretty tight in there. So all I'm doing is just running a very tiny bead along that edge and that should hold the glazing in there as you can see with the one that I've done already here um, it's been quite hot recently and um, as you know with some of the other videos I've put up I've been out and about and doing other things um, Hence why this video is going to be a, a little bit late. So this is the first time I've been up here within a week. So it's just nice to just get back into it and do a little bit here and there. I mean, when, once the winter months come, the videos will be a little bit more regular, I think. Because we've got to enjoy the weather that we have, haven't we? So that's the second one done. You can actually see the, the glue and glaze glue, but once that dries, it dries clear. But what I might do is take that little tiny blob off on the, on the right there. It might be just a little bit too much without knocking the window through. There we go, so I've only got one more left to do on this. And yeah, looks quite neat. Now we're moving on to the inner walls. And um, with this building, um, it works out to be three walls. So as you can see, I've pre-marked the card with all the um, dimensions and angles ready for cutting out. So I've got to cut this 2 mil out here, uh, 2 mil out there. I've got to take the 7.5 uh, mil off the top which gives us a nice flat edge for the chimney breast to sit on. And I've also got to cut out this little square here for the cables to run through. Um, one of these um, will separate the station master's office and the booking hall or the ticket office and um, this wall will have to be slightly different to the other walls because the cables are going to run up through this dividing wall which is going to power up the whole of the station so this is the wall I shall do first. I have now trimmed 
all the walls and uh, I've kept all these right angles because what I'll do is I'll glue these back on uh, flush to this edge and flush to this corner edge um, to increase the thickness of the wall and then once this glue is dried I shall cut off this little tab here um, which will allow then the chimney breast itself to glue on this top edge you'll see as I'll go along so this is where we are and notice I put a 4mm groove down the centre of this wall um, that is for the cabling so I'll just give that a little smear of glue and I shall start gluing in all these right angles to thicken up the top edge which will give us plenty of glue room for the roof when I come to do the roofing right so we've gone from this to this now and um, what we've done here we've added another piece of 1mm card 14mm wide um, basically to bring the chimney breast the same thickness as these um, roof supports and don't forget to allow at least two millimeters at the bottom for the fireplace and the floor of the building and uh, so that's that piece and if we move on to uh, this piece the dividing wall between the station master's office and the booking office um, as you can see I've already pre-cut the slot and here is the slot for the chimney breast so I've done that more or less the same so if I glue that onto there you can see now on this edge we've got roughly a four millimeter square slot for the cable to run up which will then power the whole um, buildings one and two uh, notice how I've gone a little bit higher so the cables can run in both directions this direction and this direction so all that's left to me to do now is build the chimneys um, on these walls the three intermediate um, walls with the chimney breasts all done as you can see I've tapered them in ready so all I've got to do is wrap some brick sheeting around here and around here um, yes they all look identical except for this one because this one has the slot for the cables um, moving on a little bit I've finished putting the brick paper on the chimneys and uh, I've also added some fireplace and their halves as well so we're slowly getting there and I've also put a line there which marks the height of the ceiling now that height there is important because I'll be able to fit the terminal blocks in for all the cables that's gonna light up the um, station building uh, right so where are we now right if I put that one down and show you this one where we've cut away the two mil strips here as you can see we've got a little lip there now that there will sit on the outside wall so these little pieces I've been trimming and gluing onto this lip on the chimney here and I think once that's painted in the stonework it'll give um, a little bit of a, a unique um, look to the chimney breast so that's what where we are at the moment and uh, once that's done we may start thinking about putting all these walls together when sticking these little bits of card on if you do the long lens first cut a mitre onto them it makes it a lot easier when you come to put the smaller bits in because you just marry up the mitre joints just by measuring the card and if you're slightly on the big side like this one you just trim a little bit off and then glue it in place so I'm just a fraction too big on this one hopefully that should just fit in there this time does like so
As you can see I've now assembled uh, the four walls and I've put in one of the dividing uh, chimney walls and um, as I was assembling it um, I came up with a few problems. I've put too many fireplaces into this building. Um, this is the waiting room. Fine. That should have a fireplace like it has got. Uh, this is the ladies. Um, there wouldn't be a fireplace in there. Here we have the um, station master's house. And when I put this dividing wall in, I had the dilemma of having two fireplaces. So I've got rid of this one and I've kept that one on the other side for the booking office. And um, now I can glue in all these um, dividing walls and uh, just to complete the building. So that just goes to show you I got a little bit carried away with gluing together too many fireplaces. <laughs> And here we are, we're back at the station and I've placed building one on the platform and this gives you a different perspective on how the station will look once it's all completed. I mean, I know we haven't got the roofs on yet or the uh, overhanging uh, canopies which we go across the platforms, but now that we have the other building on, it gives you a general idea of what this station is going to look like. So if I just pan the camera over on above the seats office you can see the terminal blocks there which are going to supply the uh, electrics for the whole buildings. That one and that one over there. So yeah, it does look more like station now, but it's just a, a long way off from finishing. Um, so yeah, I'm hoping to try and do a video uh, every month now until the winter months come along and then we'll be back to normal service uh, I'm trying to get one a week at the moment is well there's just so much going on with the weather and everything and we're spending more time out and about and I'm spending less time on the railway but we'll get there so thanks again for watching and uh, stay safe everybody until next time Bye for now. Bye.